All right, you got old and busted, new hotness. Old and busted, new hotness. Yo, I'm pumped. New computer has arrived. Let's do this. Gadget Jeff. BB. Hey, what up, YouTube? Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different than my normal gadget reviews. I've gotten many requests from you guys to start throwing up a vlog on my channel every now and again on some random topic that I find interesting, and uh, I'm a good listener. I've been uh, listening to all that feedback, and uh, I'm gonna start doing that. So welcome to vlog number one my new computer. As you guys have probably heard me say in my other videos, uh, I'm currently running this antique dinosaur of a computer. It's like six, six and a half years old, and it's just really inhibiting me from being more productive on my videos, video rendering and video editing, just my machine doesn't handle it well. I mean, we're talking like a dual core processor still, no graphics card, and because of which, it just really bogs me down on my production level. Uh, I have to sit there and wait for my machine to think about everything I do. If I move the timeline in my video editing program, I'm sitting there staring at it, waiting for it to think about it, waiting. I mean, a lot of the times it just freezes flat out and uh, yeah, you have to restart your whole system. Or sometimes it'll just trip out and start glitching out and be like blah. Or it'll just process my videos like molasses. Real slow like. Well, say hello to my new hotness here. She's my new baby, my another brother from another mother, so to speak. I thought it was time to uh, trade in my old dinosaur or throw it off a bridge and just get rid of it and upgrade to something that will uh, bring me to the 21st century, help me with uh, what I need to do. Now, this isn't a name brand. This is actually one of those do-it-yourself super combos that Newegg.com sells where they you buy everything, they ship all the components individually, and then it's up to you to either put it together yourself or bring it to a shop and have them do it, which is what I did. Now, from what I hear, buying all the components separately and then doing that, uh, you actually get more, uh, more for your dollar, but then you have the downside of having to either put it together yourself or pay someone else to do it. So I decided to bring it to this company called Infotech here in Federal Way, Washington, where they install all the components, all the hardware, install the operating system, all the necessary drivers and so on. I mean, I like to think I'm pretty suave in life in certain things, especially gadgets and technology. But when I saw like this tiny little crazy microprocessor and all these heat sinks and fans and little cables and stuff, I'm like, Jeff, don't get it twisted. You don't know what you're doing. Bring it to someone that does. And this company Infotech will do all that for a hundred bucks, which I think is really reasonable. Now all the components, the case, the motherboard, the processor, the RAM, the graphics card, the solid state hard drive, the, the normal hard drive, operating system, install, all cost me about 1300 um, bucks. But I really think this machine will last me at least probably another five or six years. Uh, so I'm pumped. Now, I don't know a ton about computers other than they uh, compute things. Um, but uh, I like to think I got good stuff, good hardware. I don't know, again, a ton about it. So that's why I'm making this video. I kind of wanted to get your guys' opinion on if I made a mistake and got something I shouldn't have. But the guy at the Infotech shop said it all looked pretty good to him, so hey. And I know a lot of you YouTubers are also gamers and uh, probably have good machines, probably even way better than what I have, but I uh, just thought you'd be the expert. So uh, yeah, please let me know what you think. I mean, visually it all looks really good to me, but then uh, so does a 25 year old hard body blonde and we all know how crazy they can be. And so anyways, I went for an Intel i7 quad core 4790K processor with uh, eight way multitask processing. Kind of funny how the smallest package was the most expensive. This thing was like 420 bucks. Then I got the Zotac GeForce GTX 970 with four gigabytes of DDR5 memory, whatever that means. But actually from what I heard, Nvidia makes the 970 uh, chip and it's supposedly really good. So 16 gigabytes of G-Skill Sniper uh, RAM. Um, I'm guess that's good. Uh, sniper, it's gotta be good. Huh? Gotta be precision. It's a sniper. PNY 480 gigabyte solid state drive that has the uh, operating system loaded up as well as my video editing programs and any other things I need to launch and have uh, respond quick. A standard two terabyte little uh, HDD standard hard drive. Poor little thing didn't even come in a cool box. It came in a, some generic new egg box. And a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo heat sink. This keeps the processor nice and cool because uh, we all know no, uh, you don't want the processor to get too toasty. I mean, don't get me wrong, when there's heat, there's usually friction, which means there's love, but uh, sometimes you don't want certain things getting warm or you got problems. And then a Roswell or Rosewell, I don't know how to say it, Valens, Valens, 700 watt power supply. Um, it's got some guy pointing a gun at you, so uh, 
supposedly it's good. And then all that is plugged into the motherboard. Kind of reminds me of the mother brain from Metroid. Um, but it's a gigabyte brand, ultra durable, so I guess you can like bang on it really hard. Z97X SLI motherboard. So uh, I don't know who comes up with all these little model names, but I'm digging it. And then a couple other little knickknacks like a wireless network card adapter. So now I don't have to have my little ethernet cable plugged in and running across the floor where I'm tripping on it. I can just throw that away and uh, go wireless. What I was really excited about were these full color uh, full spectrum, I guess, um, RGB lights that uh, light up the inside of your case. And they come with this little remote control. You have like tons of different colors. But the tech that installed everything over at Infotech said they don't work. I mean, I paid $3 shipped from China for these things. Fairly good amount of money. So I expect them to work. But everything else on my new system uh, from my testing and from what the tech said is running good and strong. So um, this will be my last video running my old clunker, so let's take a moment of silence and uh, reflect on everything that it has done. So with this new computer, you can expect to frequently see more videos from me and consistently. When I say I'm going to release a video in a week, I'm going to really try to stay true to that. Normally when I've been falling behind on uh, my previous videos a little bit, it's because my computer is holding me back. Like a couple weeks ago, I ended up getting some virus that removed my licensing code on my Adobe After Effects program, which is the one that I used to uh, render my videos and edit. And it wouldn't allow me to open my editing program, so I couldn't make a video. I mean, I'm really going to try to uh, keep this new computer in prime optimal running condition. I'm going to go to zero porn sites. Not that I really did uh, before, but you know, heck, sometimes. But I heard this new setup should just spit through frames, just like. So what do you guys think? Did I uh, did I get good components? Um, I'm kind of nervous to hear what you have to say, just in case one of them is crap, because uh, there's not really anything I can do about it now. But I think it'll be enough for me. I just do basic video editing, like you know, and uh, like I said, with Oculus Rift virtual reality headset coming out, which I'm really pumped up about. Uh, my old system just wouldn't have played any of those, because I think it runs at 90 frames a second or something like that. So the new system will be ready for VR. But I do value your guys' opinions and thoughts, so anything you want to say, please leave it in the comments section below. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first video vlog. Um, I'm going to be throwing up maybe one of these every once or twice a month on things that I find interesting and fun and uh, uh, things that I think you would too. Uh, I have a project uh, kind of in the works. I'm going to be buying a kind of a classic car, 1967, 68 or 69 Camaro, whatever one uh, is silver because I want a silver one, and uh, putting a big block motor in it and building it and making it just one hell of a scary ride. So I thought it'd be cool to update people on that from time to time, as well as other things I'm doing in my life, like going to a theme park and almost getting kicked out of the park because I was holding a camera on the roller coaster. And uh, yeah, that was pretty bad. He yelled at me pretty good. So thanks again for tuning in and I'll catch you later.